Coach Ordner, C3 Iowa. Last year, you didn't have to go very far if you guys wanted to come to this. What, was it a five-minute walk from your guys' yeah, campus? Yeah, that was kind of nice. Yeah, now you guys are uh, <laughs> half hour down the road. About No, no, hour down the road. Yeah. Hour down the road. Yeah. Uh, first off, coming in, working with high school kids on August, Saturday. What's that say about the guys you're looking at here? That's awesome. That's what I told these kids. I said, by being here, you guys are doing the right things, you know. And when you're recruiting kids, you're looking for kids that want to be involved you know, year round. We're looking for mat rats, kids that want to get better, and kids that come to this want to get better. So, um, you know, the kids that are here, they they're here because they they're doing the right things. And I think if you're a, if you're a high school wrestler and you're and you're not here, you're missing out on an opportunity to to learn from some good people and to have some good workout partners and just get better. The Warburg Knights are the standard in NCAA Division three wrestling. There's no question. Six out of the last seven NCAA team titles are in your place. You got runner up. And the year you guys didn't win in the last six out of the last seven. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you're, you're the standard. Everybody's chasing you. What's it like having a target on your back? How do you have to approach a recruiting event? What's it like having a target on your back knowing people are watching? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we look at it as having a target, really. I mean, it's just uh, after one, you just look to the next one. And, um, you know, you take it year by year, really. And uh, you look at, you know, you need ten guys. You want to put ten guys out there that are going to compete and represent and and if you can do that every year, you're gonna you're gonna have success, you know. Um, but we don't look at it as like everybody's chasing us or somebody's chasing us. It's, we're looking, we're chasing ourselves, you know. We're we're chasing excellence, really. And and if you if you look at that, we're competing against us. We're competing against what we did in the past and how we want to keep getting better and keep improving. And um, we're really not paying attention to you know what everyone else is doing. And I. And I think maybe that's part of the reason why we've had success is that we're not we're not focused on other people. We're focused on us, and and that's why we've had the success we've had. Is, is we're worried about what we got coming next year and the year after and the year after, and we're looking ahead three four years from now. You know, so that's important. I think is not not really paying it because I think people get caught up chasing chasing us. Maybe you know they're worried about what we're doing, not what they're doing. A lot of times, Coach Miller, you know, legendary Coach Jim Miller. Uh, he's retired now as as. A coach, mm -hmm. still around the athletic department there at Wartburg, but having a guy like that, you know, he coached you, yeah. learning under a guy like that, what was that like and what's it like still having him around? Uh, it's, it's, I mean, there's no, there's no substitute for, for your, you know, who taught you, because everything I know I learned from other people, um, but he, he was a guy that made the sport, he simplified it, but he was, he was all about fight, you know, like learning how to fight, because if you learn how to fight for seven minutes, you're going to be hard to beat, you know, and nobody, but nobody likes to do it. You know, it's easier to say than to do, but he really taught taught us that. And as far as I kind of train guys, the guy really taught us, like, you know, the guys that are – Coach Keller's been there for 13 years. I've been there 12. And um, he taught us how to train guys, More, most importantly, is that, you know, there's times where you need to back off. There's times where guys need more. And, and um, I, it, you know, I, when I first started, I thought, we need to do more. We need to do more. And he's like, we're fine. You know, like, more is not always better. That's kind of what I learned from him. You guys are um – always on the on the lookout for you guys get guys that transfer in but you get guys that you also make and build i think everybody thinks oh man they get good yeah. transfers or d1 guys but you've built a lot of guys from the ground up there's no question about that what are you looking for in a a wartburg night a potential future wartburg night when you go out and recruit and come to an event like this well i think the big thing is they're looking for guys that think big um and that uh you know don't put limits on themselves you know so many people i think in this sport put limits on what they're capable of and when you do that, you're 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 taking yourself out of contention a lot of times, and that's the most important thing. And we, I tell kids all the time that it's not really your credentials before you got here; it's what you do when you get here. And if you think big and you and you have a goal and a dream and you're willing to work hard, we we think the sky's the limit in our in our program. And that's what we tell kids: if you're willing to work and you're willing to get better, you can, you can do what you want to do. You can reach your goals here. And and um, you know, like you said, we we've had kids that come in that. Um, the gamut. We've had kids that were state qualifiers. We've had kids that were two, three times state champs, and everything in between. But uh, what I tell kids is, like I said, it doesn't matter. Your credentials coming in here aren't near as important as they are, is what you do when you get here. So we're looking for guys that think big. Think big. Don't put limits on yourself, and, and you can excel. When you see a kid out here and you're just watching them, what's the biggest thing here in this wrestling room today in Independence, Iowa? You're looking at? I think just the, the way the kid practices. I mean, you can. Talent only gets you so far, you know, and 
you can look at a kid and say, man, that kid's got a lot of talent, but maybe he can't fight for a whole match, or maybe he's not very tough, you know. And, and really, you watch a kid practice, and if they're doing the right things in practice for, you know, a half hour or 45 minute session like we just had, I think it's more like an hour probably, but, you know, the kids that are hustling, kids that are working hard, those are the kids that are going to get better, you know. Not, like I said, talent's only going to get you so far in this sport, and that's only a small part of it. So if you're not willing to work, you know, it, it, it's, this is a tough sport to be part of. All right, Coach. Guys are still out there scrapping. I'll let you go out there and watch. You got anything else for me? No, man. I just appreciate the opportunity um, to be here. And like I said, uh, this is a great chance to see, see some kids. And, uh, you know, if you're a high school kid and you're out there, these are things that we need to do to keep building our sport. You know, they do this for basketball. They do this for football, these combine-type things. And, you know, I, I hope we can keep this going and just keep building this. You know, to, and, and to have it here in Iowa is awesome because, you know, there's a lot of good kids around. And, a lot of colleges within this area that can come and watch this.